Hi, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this video, I want to talk about arbitration. Arbitration is sometimes referred to as an alternative dispute resolution system. And there are others, including mediation, which we cover in another video. Arbitration is where the different parties to a dispute come before a single person, meaning one person, who's going to arbitrate the dispute and make a decision. They are not a judge, but according to the party's agreement, this person has the authority to make a decision. The agreement can be in a written contract, which is enforced so that if, uh, according to whatever the terms of the contract say, if one party decides to disregard that provision and go to court, the other party can use that provision and say, no, we agreed to go to arbitration and ask the judge to direct the parties to arbitration, which is not inside the court system. The other way that the parties can agree to arbitration is where maybe they have a contract, a, a written contract, maybe they don't, but what they do have is a dispute. And in trying to resolve the dispute, they now, once they've encountered the dispute, they agree they're going to go to arbitration to get it resolved instead of going to court. There, there are different situations where arbitration is more beneficial, people believe, or less beneficial, people believe. But in any event, it requires the agreement of both sides to do it. No one can force someone to go to arbitration. Now, there is an American Arbitration Association, AAA, which some people will use for the arbitration. It's a whole organization and they will find the arbitrators for you. They will find groups of people that you can then pick and choose till you each decide who the arbitrator is so it's fair. And they have rules that, that they provide. Of course, there's a filing fee um, that's several thousand dollars. There's a sliding scale and I'll put the link to their website in the description below so you can check that out. There are different levels of fees based upon what is at stake in the dispute. And you can or cannot, um, it, it's up to you, and it's up to you, the parties, whether or not the American Arbitration Association will be used or if they just want to go and find another person, either someone in the industry who's knowledgeable about what the subject matter is or a retired judge or an attorney or some other person that they agree to submit their dispute to. Um, so the uh, American Arbitration Association is often referenced in written contracts where the arbitration provision is set up at the very beginning of the deal. But anyone who has a dispute and agrees to submit it, if both sides agree, can use this system. Now, one thing that I uh, have had to have this conversation with people before that they weren't quite sure about or somehow they had a misconception that arbitration mean it takes care of their whole situation and no court action is necessary. That is true if, number one, there's an agreement to arbitrate, number two, it's submitted directly to arbitration and no one goes to court first, and number three, once the arbitrator makes a decision, both sides abide by that decision and perform it. If somebody is told by the arbitrator, you owe Joe Blow $100,000 and Joe Blow doesn't pay it, the arbitration award, which is what it's called, is not something that can be used to go and get money from Joe Blow. You have to then take the arbitration award to the court and have the court make it into a judgment. And then a judgment is then enforceable. Now, once you take it to an arbitration award to court, there can be defenses because built into the U.S. system of due process, we have balances. So the parties notified that the arbitration award has been brought in and there are certain situations that I'll cover in another video that can be called defenses to the arbitration and may possibly have the arbitration award invalidated. So. If the arbitration is completed, everyone performs it, 
no need to go to court. But if somebody doesn't perform and you need it to be enforced, then you do have to resort to the court system, which then does not save you time overall necessarily. But um, many believe in certain situations that arbitration is preferable, that it is a short circuit way to get a defined dispute resolved by somebody who has the time to devote to it fairly quickly without taking years going through the court system. So I hope that this helps. If you had any questions about the process, if you have any other questions, please leave them in the leave them for me below and I'll be happy to address them either directly or in another video. If you want to know about our latest videos, the best way to do that is to subscribe. We're also on Facebook or you can follow us on Twitter. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.